Food for Real People with Joe Seeger. Hello and welcome to Real Food for Real People. Tonight's show is all about getting those boys into the kitchen. Yes, all you guys out there watching, this is the menu for you. And what special occasion better to celebrate than the Bledisloe Cup? That's the biggie. And this is the kind of food to serve that's going to impress your mates to bits. It'll impress the boots off them. We've got all sorts of store-bought goodies to start with that you just need to zhuzhy up a little bit. And then we move on to a couple of treats using that old amber elixir, beer. Smells gorgeous. Here I am at Galbraith's Ale House with Keith Galbraith and we're just discussing the right kind of beer for beer bread. What do you think, Keith? Something with plenty of flavour, but soft. Nice colour. That's the one you reckon? Yes. OK, now look, I'm doing a Stilton soup and I don't want too strong a beer for that. What, what, what's your other choice? Nice crisp lager, the Budvar, very full flavoured with nice bitterness. Looks lovely and it won't be too dark a colour either. No. Now tell me, are there any special little tips on, you know, how you store beer? Just don't store it in the oven, Joe. <laughs> and what about how long? Does it go off? Six to 12 months is probably optimum for bottled beer. Oh, it won't ever last that long around our house. Now, listen, I've got a really strong man coming for dinner tonight, and I just want to make sure I've got something really good for him. So maybe we could just take this and go for a walk and Why not? have a try of a few others. Cheers. Great, thanks. Oh, well, thanks so much, Keith. That's great. Oh, I have a good night on this. You will. Lovely. You, Bye. Joe. We'll be using that fabulous beer later in the show, but first of all, some ways with some store-bought goodies, how to jazz them up, how to make them smart. I'm going to start with smoked salmon because a lot of people buy it and they then don't know quite what to do with it. Here's some cunning tricks. Last year we made crostinis. Remember that? French bread sprayed into the oven till it's crisp. Well, this year we're doing vogelinis. It's a slice of Vogels-type bread done in a toaster till it's really crisp and I've cut it into four, spread it with a bit of cream cheese and now I'm just going to put some smoked salmon on it. Just slices and try and get a little bit of height into that. Some people sort of spread it on a bit like kind of mummite or something but you need to get that little bit of height. And here's a cunning tip, poor man's caviar. Nothing says ritzy like smoked salmon and caviar. Six dollars for a jar and I can make 200 Vogelinis out of it. How about that for a bargain? Just a tingy bit. You don't want to put too much on or they'll think it's not real. There we go. Here's a cunning wee tip. Just a little bit on the side. You can do this on crackers, of course, and, um, you know, in little mini muffins. Even those waffles we made for the brunch, they were great. Just cut them up into little kind of bite-sized pieces. There it is. Beautiful. Now, another cunning way with smoked salmon is mixing it with cream cheese, a bit of lemon pepper, that's 250 grams of cream cheese, about a cup of off-cuts of smoked salmon, lemon pepper, bit of lemon juice, parsley, and use it like a dip and spread it on the crostinis or the toast. That's fabulous. Now some olives. Now, I've bought jars of olives, just green olives and black olives, in tins and jars, drained off the liquid, and then in a clean jar or a plastic container, added the olives and a few flavourings in olive oil. Now, you make sure that you get the olive oil well and truly over the top of the jar, and it doesn't need to go in the fridge, OK? This one here is a cunning one. I've used little bits of feta cheese in there and semi-dried tomatoes and nice marjoram and thyme. Fabulous flavours, bit of chilli. Make sure that one is kept in the fridge. And when it's at, at fridge temperature, it's often cloudy. So don't worry about that. It hasn't gone off. Just bring it up to room temperature and it's fine. Lovely marinated olives. Easy to do. Couple of days in advance. Fabulous. OK, great ways with smoked salmon and marinated olives. Here's an ingenious use for that beer that we bought earlier beer soup with Stilton cheese. In here I've got 50 grams of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Now you must mix them both because the butter would burn without that olive oil lifting the temperature. And I've got four large onions which I've sliced up and I'm just kind of really browning those in there. A little bit more than we normally cook them. I really want them to have good colour. It's a wee bit like a French onion soup. Now when they're nice gorgeous golden colour like this, you add four cups of lovely dark beef stock, okay? It's really good brown stock. Whoa, tipping it all over the place. And then four cups of that lovely dark ale. There, look at that. Oh, the smell is just divine. Right, 
Now, stir that around, lovely and frothy too. Stir that around and just check the seasoning. My stock was quite salty, but I'm adding lots of pepper at this stage. Just have a little taste. Right, now you let that come up to the boil and just simmer for about five minutes. Over here, we've got crostinis. Just slices of French bread, sprayed with oil and crisped in the oven. And I'm gonna put three in the base of the soup bowl. There we go. That's had a lovely long five minutes to simmer and it's all brewed and beautiful multi flavours, gorgeous. Now I'm going to just scoop that over. Actually, I'll lift this one up here and put it here. Just tip that over those crostinis. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, it's like a lovely French onion soup at this stage. Those lovely bits of onion and that lovely beer smell. Woo! Now pop that one back, do this one. Okay, there they are, both filled up. Now we just sprinkle the Stilton cheese over the top. I've got a cup of Stilton here, and or you could use another blue cheese if you wanted, but the Stilton and the beer is particularly gorgeous. There we go. This recipe serves four good hearty bowls like that. And then they go under the grill, full, full speed grill. Mine's on 250 for about two minutes. Just watch it carefully. Woo. Look at these, they look gorgeous. Ooh. Just delicious, the smell. Mm -mm. Now, all you do is just sprinkle a little bit of parsley over the top to serve. And I'll pull my plate through here. And pop one of these. Now, they're quite hot, so treat them very carefully. Now I'm gonna serve that with beer bread. Remember we made it last year, so easy. Three cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a can of beer, or a small bottle of beer, 400 mils of beer, whiz it round into the tins, a little bit of cheese on the top, so easy. Half an hour for small ones, an hour for a big one. And look at that, the perfect accompaniment. We've got the beer bread with the beer soup and Stilton cheese. That's a really filling, gorgeous first course. Now don't go away because after the break, I'm making mustard pork stroganoff with a fragrant jasmine rice. <laughs>